Welcome to Excel Med's trick number 1,296. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Wow, we've already done four videos on how to score a Myers-Briggs test. And here's yet another video. Now, there's lots of different methods. And you know you can pick whichever one you want. However, this one will illustrate a cool or criteria concept for count ifs and sum ifs functions. Now, the goal is simple. We have a question and an answer. Each question either gets an A or B. We need to look through this whole list, and only when we find these answers, score it an E. These answers, score it an F. So there needs to be counts here. Now, this is going to take two steps. The first one is simply, hey, I need to join question and answer so I can match it against the proper question and answer over in each one of these columns. So I'm going to join it. Equals, and I'm going to take, hey, relative cell reference 2 to my left, ampersand, shift 7, one cell to my left. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now I have a helper column. And this formula does require a helper column. Some of the other ones didn't. All right, so now I come down here. And what I'd really like to do is count, of course. So I'm going to use the count ifs functions. Now, criteria range. I want to look through this entire column for the letter E, Control Shift down on F4, comma. Now, normally we put one single item in here, and count if spits out one single answer. Well, I'm going to highlight all of the items possible for the letter E. Now, once you put more than one item into criteria one, you are doing a function argument array operation, which means we have eight different items I'm asking count ifs to count. And because there's no duplicates over here, it either is going to get a count or not for each one of these. But there's eight items I put into this function argument, so that's instructing count ifs to spit out eight answers. Now I simply close parentheses, and I'm going to F9 to see what it gives me. And sure enough, these are the possible items for the letter E. And down here, 1101 means it found 11B over here, 15A over here. It did not find 19A. And finally, it found 22B, and so on. Now, Control-Z, I would like to add those. So I'm going to come here, and I could use the sum function, but because this is a function argument array operation that would require Control-Shift-Enter, instead, I don't want to do any special keystroke, so I'm going to use sum product. Now, of course, sum product normally takes array times array times array. That's the product part. And then adds them. That's the sum part. Because this argument can handle array formulas without Control Shift Enter, I'm just going to use the one array, and it will just do the sum part. And it will add the resultant array of ones and zeros from the count ifs. Control Enter, and I copy it over. All the way to the end, I come to the end and F2. If I were to come inside, click on array, and hit F9 to evaluate and look at this, it found a 12A over there. It did not find 00, so it didn't find 14B, 20A, and so on. That's a little fun with function argument array operation in countifs. And by the way, it works in sum ifs and countifs. You put or criteria in this, it will search through an entire column and spit out however many criteria you put in here. That's how many answers countifs will spit out. And of course, we put it into some product to add. All right, we'll see you next video.